Oh, welcome to the Sonya Podcast. So, we're going to talk about relationship. You know, how is it possible to be in love for so long? What keeps that love alive on a daily basis? Especially when there are so many distractions, such as children, career, and money. So, I'm going to tell you exactly what the... couple therapist says then I'll give y'all my opinion on this so it says relationship experts have looked at this issue for a long time and have come to the conclusion that one practice in particular is the most powerful in effect it seems to work almost like magic I appreciate you This simple act of positive attention is what people need most, even more than expression of love to function well. In fact, as Gottman has shown, happy couples make positive statements to each other five times more often than unhappy couples. As people, the most affirming experience we can have is to be noticed, heard, and listened to and understood by those around us. It stands to reason then that the important people in your life have the most power to make you feel this affirmation. It also makes sense that the people more important to you are the ones you want to empower the most. What if you find yourself saying, my husband doesn't appreciate me, or vice versa, my wife doesn't appreciate me? Being in a long-term relationship, especially if you've been together for a while, you may feel taken for granted. This is the opposite of acknowledgement. You may feel that you have been doing more in your relationship than it has gone unnoticed and been ignored. Being in a relationship seems like it should be a 50-50 proposition. But so many people feel like they are doing more than their share. After a while, fatigue and resentment can set in. Why should I do more in my relationship when my partner doesn't even know or appreciate what I do? So why don't they know what you do? Because you may never tell them. And why don't you tell them? Because they never ask. Why don't they ask? Because they may feel like doing it unappreciated as well break the cycle of silence you may be tired of not hearing anything nice from your partner and that makes it hard to say anything nice to them as well some may say why should i say i love you when you never say you love me the way to break this cycle of silence may be easier to break than you think it start by communicating some positive feelings to your partner through acknowledgement the practice of noticing and appreciate something positive that the other person has said or done Acknowledgement includes what the other person has been doing and what you have been doing and what to be noticed for. Principle of behaviorism has shown clearly that what is reinforced tends to reoccur and persist. What is ignored tends to disappear. So you can create a cycle of acknowledgement. In place of your cycle of silence by acknowledging each other frequently for things you would normally take for granted like making dinner mowing the lawn, doing the laundry, taking care of a sick child or pet, or so on. Think of it the way you thank your friends for for things that you that they do for you. Why not treat your partner as nicely as you treat your friends? Give acknowledgement. The best way to acknowledge another person is to let them know an acknowledgement is coming. Say, um, we're going to just use this for example. We'll say, Eddie, I want to acknowledge you for something. Then we're going to let him know what we want to say. Eddie, I acknowledge you for being so gracious to my mother and driving her where she needs to go when she was here this weekend. You want a voice and I would like to acknowledge you. Just say you, you just say the acknowledgement. Make sure that Eddie hears what you said and feel the acknowledgement. Those sorts of affirmation are very valuable and very inexpensive. Acknowledgement is not a costly comedy, but we often stingy we are stingy with it. Even if it seems like your partner already knows that you care, say it directly anyway. You know I appreciate you, of course, don't you? May not be as powerful as I appreciate you. Be sustained. Be specific in acknowledging. I acknowledge you for being a great person. It's not as helpful as 
something specific they know that now know you have noticed. They are more to a great acknowledgement. However, it's not just a thank you. After saying what you are acknowledging, say what it tells you. Say what it tells you about them that you would that they would do that. Then say how it feels for you to hear that. You can practice giving and getting acknowledgement every day and it will make a huge difference. If you can begin to make a habit of taking time every day for at least some acknowledging, you will find that the backlog of anger and resentment that sometimes builds up begins to shrink. Asking for acknowledgement, it may seem difficult to give acknowledgement, but it's even harder to ask to be acknowledged for something you have done. Once you practice and share acknowledgement, you may consider asking for the acknowledgement yourself without having to wait for them to hope for them to come from your partner. Couples often live their whole life without ever feeling appreciated for what they do. For example, my father was married to my mother for 25 years before he died. He was a very helpful guy and always worked around the house. About a year after he died, my mother made a comment to me that she has been so unlucky since then. She said everything around the house seems to be breaking down and she could not figure out why. I shared with her that dad had been doing all that work for 25 years but had never asked to be acknowledged. I know it's frustrated him, but he was just too quiet a guy to speak up. So the process of asking for acknowledgement is like giving one. You just ask to be acknowledged for something in particular that you did. It may feel awkward or maybe a bit greedy to start with, but remember it's not a contest to see who does more. You're both doing as much as you can. It's just a way to aware of the contribution you are already making. The appreciation is no less valuable if you ask for it. After a while, it's a friend to ask to be noticed and thanked. Celebrate your... Celebrate celebrate it. Using acknowledgement regularly is like physical exercise. The more you make a habit of it, the more it works for you. In the beginning, you might want to schedule a time once or twice a week to trade acknowledgement. Maybe it's part of a regular date night or a bedtime or weekend ritual. After a while, you can get used to doing it whenever, wherever an acknowledgement or request for acknowledgement occurs to you. Once that hurdle is crossed, it really begins to make communication easier and less threatening between the two of you. You will likely see each other in a more positive light than before, making it easy to express opinions and other matters of importance. Don't forget to mark your progress every once in a while. Plan a special time together to celebrate. Maybe a day or week in a way or some dedicated time to review your progress and acknowledgement, not just each other, but your couple. For making it happen, it's not just a victory for yourself. It's a win for the both of you. So I'd like to thank you for listening to my podcast. That's true. Before I get into the end of it, yes, you should always acknowledge your partner. And your partner should always acknowledge you. You should always. For me, I feel like it should be acknowledgement. It should be trust, honesty, love, great communication. Um... If you want to get on the physical side, try different, um, different things, different sexual things. Like you can try so many different sexual things to brighten up your relationship. Um, y'all all know that I had a erotic podcast at one time talking about, you know, different things you can actually try. I have a lot of things i would like to share with y'all all but i will have to make that where it's just about a certain amount of listening because i found out recently that younger generation also listened to my podcast so i wouldn't want to tell them the things that i'm telling y'all telling us as older people you know i wouldn't want to give them that advice because i for my advice for them is to stay in school travel have fun and that's that's just my advice for all young people. So again, I like to thank you for listening to my podcast. Please get a five star review on Speaker Spotify, iHeartRadio. There is to be a podcast that please share. Please go to my website http dot dot slash podcasters dot com slash wordpress dot com. 
Um, you can check out my son clothing line at Conquest Empire 2020 Instagram. You can follow me at SON.IA 9795 Instagram. So you Santiago Twitter, so you Santiago Facebook, so you Santiago Pinterest. You can leave a comment here at SV766752 at gmail.com. Thank you and have a great night.